What is up everyone, Sir Romuff and Bob's the first here, and we are back after quite some time in Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. Now the last time we were in this game, I was about to go into a corridor and be about to be chased by that uh, slime jelly monster thing. Unfortunately the footage that I tried to capture multiple times with it uh, never made it into video. Uh, due to rendering, lag, or the video not even being there to begin with, just my face cam and audio. We're back in it. Uh, basically, I outran him and was able to take an elevator back up to this uh, main floor, which you probably recognize. And now we get to go back in. And that's pretty much all that happened. And, ha, ha, ha skills. The oh. fuses are primed. You've got 20 minutes before this place blows. Move! Oh. Okay, Hoover. Okay, so, um, well, I guess now that you know that, that's needed information. Uh, I'm going back down with slime monsters. I really don't like that it's like messing with my sanity right now, mainly because I have no choice but to look down. But you know what, whatever, it's about to be over anyways. Uh, anyways, so I am now going down. Oh, yeah, I ain't too bad. Look, gold. Can I have some? No? Okay. Wait, okay, that's a hole. That's a drop. That hurt me. Can I go down slope? Of course not! That is not fair. Excuse me while I heal myself. Oh my god. You barely fell. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, so now we are going back down to the... Okay, guess I'm gonna keep getting interrupted. We're going back down to the refinery because there's still men down here. There we go. Uh, no. And, uh, there are bombs! Yay! Well, I really do like how there was a mod for it that literally allowed his hand to appear. Clicking. Okay. It's a secret gold vault. This must be where the marshes hoard their wealth. Yeah. Gold everywhere. Let's go over here. It's only a nice looking one. That did not look healthy. Okay. Up we go. Da, 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 da. No, I went up the ladder. Okay. I've actually tried to record a lot of this on several occasions, but for whatever reason, just couldn't. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I pick you now. I'm going this way. We can go back that way in a second. What's that sound? Oh. Gross. Close this. Oh, shiny handle. This pressure valve controls the flow of gas. Well then. I take I see that. I'll come back for it later, but I'm crossing that if I can. Okay, uh, let's check this out. It's a valve for controlling the flow of gas. Well clearly it needs a valve head. The other side, yeah, other side's the same way. Okay, let's go then. Um, here we go. I feel like we've gone that way before. Wait, no, we haven't, because I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go this way. Aha! Strange. The gold is an odd whitish color. Yes, yes, it is. Can I take some? Ticking. I really don't have time to steal gold. Is it really that hard to pick up one brick? One brick, Jackie boy? Apparently so. Nope. I didn't want that. There we go. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to go that way. Ha! Kidding. Wasn't supposed to go that way. My bad. Sorry, the mess is a little sensitive. For my... Ew, kitty booty. Okay, you tell me that doesn't look like a cat butthole. Shite. Oh, I got hurt. Oh, I got hurt bad. Oh, boy. Ooh, things are getting all topsy-turvy. I was not hurt bad in the slightest. He's just nuts. 
Can we can we calm down? Can we calm down? Come on, Jack. Come on. Look, look at the nice brick wall. See, it's all nice. Is it good? You good? You good? Okay, better now. Come on. Here we go. It's okay. Oh, that's a corpse. The body's cold. He must have been dead for some time. Yeah, that probably doesn't help. need this anymore. Nope, and the corpse probably doesn't the help with sanity. Shut. There we go. Ha ha. Hopefully we don't have to go that way again. Because that... Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have closed the door after all. Okay, I think I, I think I know what I have to do here. Have to turn these. Can't turn the bolt. Oh my bare hands. He's not strong enough to. Just, just use your fingers and. See that? Okay, I turned it the wrong way. I would have just tightened it. Yeah, the mess. Really? Aha! You move your big tentacle out of the way. It's a valve for control. He just the flow of gas. Yay! Okay. <clears throat> yes, there was something following you. It was this big thing, but hopefully we get to kill it soon. Wouldn't that be nice? I think it'd be nice. Okay, last one. Okay. Now, this room is now filled with clear. Let's just close this door. With a bunch of gas. Let's go this way. Yep, don't have to cut all the way around. Haha. -ha. Violence isn't always the answer. Haha. <laughs> I'm good. I don't care who you say. Who you say you are. You know what? No. I'll leave it open. Okay, now. Instead of making a big old circle, let's go back. Because, honestly, I don't really feel like doing that again. Let's go this way. There has to be something. But what? What? Let's look around. Is that the gas escaping? Uh oh. Holy hell. Am I alive? Well, I'm alive, obviously. <laughs> Whoops. You know, all things considered, I got hit with a big flying door and I'm okay. That could have ended a lot worse. Now, in my defense, there was a bunch of green slime there. So, I didn't have much of a choice but to walk right into it. Jeez, that was not friendly. Oh well, at least I blew up the slime monster. I'm doing a lot better than he is. I'm sensing a shift in architecture. It's very subtle, but, uh, great. Oh, back in the asylum. Exactly where I wanted to be. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, great, I was walking. Oh my god, okay. Interesting. Okay. Ah, I can't pick it up. The gem is firmly locked to the pedestal by an ornamental claw. Ornamental claw. Okay, did that do it? Ah, the claw can't be pried open with my bare hands. What if I had bare hands? Aha! Claw's open. Oh! Door's open. Yay, victory for me. Last, we found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. Even though there's what no bad the guys hell around. is this place? It's some sort of shrine, probably used by the marshes for private worship. worship. 
And the oversized gargoyle? Gargoyle. That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's, That's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Fellas, this chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Yeah. Okay, Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. Yeah, see, yeah, blows. Actually, it's probably a good thing to get out, not, not the blowing part. Run away. Night. That was one big explosion in the refinery. One moment I was running for my life, the next I was face down with a mouthful of dirt. Not true. You, you, it didn't seem like his face was ever in the dirt, but whatever. I hope everything inside was destroyed. What the hell was that? There's <laughs> some kind of monster jellyfish. How could it move out of the water? How could it even exist? My ears still ring with the screams of Hooper's men as the acidic slime engulfed them. Don't remember this. Despite the casualties, though, the raid hit Pater. The feds recovered a briefcase of very incriminating papers. It seemed that among others, the Marsh family, Sebastian in particular, had been trafficking with enemies of the state. He'd been offered a question, some kind of gym weapon to the highest bidder. Contagion? Yeah. This is in violation of all kinds of international treaties, but that doesn't surprise me. Didn't surprise me. Even if the Marshes care about such things, which I doubt, I could believe that the news of the treaties hadn't reached Insmith. But I know there are more to the story, like that shrine on the lower floor of the refinery. The carvings on those of those hideous gods are one more thing that will probably haunt my dreams for some time to come. Why did they seem familiar? Because you've seen them before, baby boy. In any case, the evidence of arms dealing gave Hoover what he needed to bring the big guns to Insmith. Literally, Insmith is now under martial law. A Coast Guard cutter in sta is stationed in the harbor with a company of Marines on shore. Led by Robert Marsh, the surviving members of the Esoteric Order of Dagon are holed up in the old uh, Masonic Hall. I suggested pounding the place to dust with the Marines <laughs> artillery, yeah, and the Cutter's guns, but Hoover wants Marsh alive. And that's not going to be easy. The Marines who attacked the main entrance of the building went into some kind of psychotic seizure before they could reach it. The brass uh, thought Marsh had laid down some kind of gas in the area, but gas masks didn't help the second storming party. That was when Hoover, Hoover remembered a report of an old smuggler's tunnel close by the banks of the river, and that seemed to lead to the building from below. It seemed my good luck just never ends. With so many agents killed and wounded in the refinery, Hoover has decided that I have the dubious honor of representing the FBI in an attack for the secret entrance in company with a squad of Marines, who are probably all going to die. I have to meet up with Sergeant Carter and his men by the refinery gates will sat along the frozen river looking for the tunnel. I may never sleep again. Not that it would make much difference. The waking sounds of visions are getting worse all the time. Though, if they're linked to the events in here and in Smith, maybe getting to the bottom of this horror will help me recover my lost memories. Okay. Okay, then. Well, I think I'm going to leave this episode here just because we made a good amount of progress and we'll pick it up in the next one. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, it really, really helps. I've been Sir Roma from Bottoms First, and I'll be seeing you.